have this memory. I'm about 11 years old. I walk into my mother's bedroom. There's a half-open drawer in her cheap dressing table with the three mirrors. I can see some letters. Blue airmail letters with exotic stamps on them. They look like a fragment of an unknown world lying there among the tangle of types and tampons. Something stops me from touching the letters. I know it's not allowed. Just as it's forbidden to ask certain questions about my mother's early life. I remember feeling very curious about the letters, but also a little afraid of what secrets they might contain. Opposite. Opposite. Yeah. Op Opposite. 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 Fire. Yeah, yeah. Station. Station. Oh, that's, that's station. Where I, live. I don't know about you, lot. That's where station. I live. Station. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, so weird. <laughs> Brian. Lives. Lives. Opposite fire station. Opposite. Fire. Station. Station. <laughs> <laughs> That's the foundations from our new house. New house? Yes, which is going to be hopefully ready by about the third week of January. At least that's what the sales negotiator tells me. Yeah. Hi, Celia. I chanced by an evening paper and I saw that this company was developing the site, which is an old school site. It's a school playing field. And there used to be a school building just by the tree over there. I've just actually got your postal address today, Bill, Have as you? well. Yes, it's Excellent. going to be number three, Chichester Drive. Oh, <laughs> the idea oh, is that we... Chichester Drive. Yes, yeah. yeah. so well, what it is, is because this was an old school site, we've actually named all the roads after the colleges and universities in the country. What do you tell people in England when they ask you today where you come from? I say I come from Hill Hempstead. It's not a question I, um, I, I like being asked, but if they ask me, I look at them quite directly and quite firmly and say, I come from Hemel Hempstead. And why do you say that? Because I find it's the easiest answer to give. It's too complicated otherwise. Why complicated? How, are you afraid of how they'll react? Why don't you tell them the truth? I don't know. I just don't like talking about anything like that. I just say I come from Hemel Hempstead and they have to accept it and that's it. They try to be fair and, and, and pick men from all disciplines. Mm. I happen to be life. Mm. There were pensions people, life people, general people, aviation people. It's a big company. Yeah. So from Lytham, they, they sent three candidates. I was one of the three. Mm. And I, I was selected only because Alec Owen said, no, this man is, is a genuine systems man. He knows about systems. So you think the man who was interviewing you was prejudiced? To start? Yes, his eyes glaze over, yes. Mm. How do you feel when, when that happens? I had gone used to it. You have to get used to it. There's no, no point bucking it. That, that is the way the world is. doesn't matter what people say to you. That is the way the world is. You, you, you have to, as they say, uh, be rather hackneyed, play the cards you dealt with. Look at all the turkeys I'm going to miss out on. We can't take one with us. Turkey? 
Enough to pay excess baggage for it. Look at that. I'm going to miss out on my turkey dinner. What would they do with it in Burma? Cook it. Same as anybody else. This is your selection of Christmas presents, eh? Yeah, it's right. so far. You, you, we're getting you. near with Christmas. Where are you going to? I don't suppose you've heard of this country, but it's called Burma. Have you heard of the country? No, I haven't. It's an actual country, yes. Oh, it's nice. been there for a few thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> it's an actual country. Oh, right. So it's where the war was fought. Oh. Yes. You've seen that film, River Kwai, on the River Kwai. I've heard of it, yes. You've heard of it. Well, yeah. it's sort of in that direction. <laughs> Very nice, isn't it, Sally? Mm, beautiful. Everything is fresh mm. and it has its own flavour. And it's been beautifully cooked. There's so many a profusion of mm. tastes. I keep thinking, right, there's and I'm eating this at the same time. <laughs> as far as I can remember, I think I left Burma in 1958. Went by no, with Eliana. Then no. you came back for a spell. No. We went the, out. The to last time I left Burma. Oh, it was in 1957 or 58, the last time. And you? Yeah. Sally, when you lived? 53. 53. Mm. You try this. This is very good. Mm. Mm. Sorry, which is the avocado? <laughs> oh, right. Mm. Mm. I didn't take the text on. But you've never told anybody where you come from? No. Well, why not? Because I don't want to. And I don't want to know. Well, what is the problem? It isn't a problem. I just don't want to discuss it. Well, it, there must be a problem if you can't discuss it. I don't want to talk about it. You know, I'm quite happy the way I am. What's that? I come from Hemel Hempstead. But you don't. You come from this country. You were brought up here. Only for a short period of my life, yes. Seventeen years. Well, that's quite long enough, I suppose, but... Um, Formative years. I've, I've lived a, a lot longer. Uh, in England, mm. and I feel English. I always have done. Mm. I haven't felt anything else, even when I lived here. 